All right, here we go. We are going to write each expression using exponents. So if you could recall, exponents are that little floaty number on a power. For example, it tells us how many times a base is being multiplied times itself. So here we have negative 11 times negative 11 times negative 11. So repeated multiplication can be written with exponents. So our base is negative 11. That's the thing that is being multiplied. So we're going to write our base as negative 11. And it's being multiplied times itself three times. So that's it. We have the exponent. That is our exponent right there. And that is our answer. Okay. Number two. We have two times two times two. We have three twos being multiplied. So that means our base is going to be two and it's being multiplied times itself three times. Times we have three times three times three. So three to the third power. Okay. Let's take a look at number three. We have how many R's? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have r to the sixth power times, and we have s one, two, three times, so s to the third power. And we can't add those together. As we can see, they're different letters, so that's it. That will be our answer right there. This is how to write repeated multiplication using exponents. Okay, so our next type of problems with exponents, when it says evaluate each expression, evaluate means to actually work out. And in this case, working out means to multiply. So when we see 2 to the 6th power, it literally means we're multiplying 2 times itself 6 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 6, 2. So we're going to go ahead and multiply out these 2's because we know 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 again. And 2 times 2 is 4 one more time. And now we get to multiply here. So 4 times 4 is 16. And then bring down this other 4 and we do 16 times 4. I need a little space over here, 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 2 is 6. So 2 to the 6th power is 64. Okay, so now we have negative 4 to the 4th power. We want to evaluate that one. So once again, our base is being multiplied repeatedly. So we're going to multiply negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16, and again 16, and then multiply 16 times 16, which is 256. So negative 4 to the 4th power is a positive 256. Okay, the next one is a fraction raised to the 3rd power. So what does that mean? So we are going to be multiplying just the fraction times itself three times. Remember, multiplying fractions, we multiply top number times the top number, bottom number times the bottom number. So here we start off with 1 over 49, because 1 times 1 is 1, 7 times 7 is 49, and then we're going to multiply 149 times 7, which is 1 over 343. Okay, so that's what our answer is right there, 343. All right, so now we have a word problem. We're also looking at this chart over here, or this table. It says the table shows the average weights of some endangered mammals. What is the weight of each animal? So. If we want to deal with the black bear, we have to actually multiply this out, just like we've done before. Oops, why did I do that? 
what we've done before. So we're going to multiply this out. Okay, so we're going to do the black bear first. So we have 2 times 5 times 5 times 7. So we go ahead and multiply. This ends up being 10. This is 35. And then 10 times 35 is 350. So that is how much our black bear is. So to calculate the key deer, it's 3 times 5 times 5 which we get 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 5 is 75. So the key deer, so the key deer is 75 pounds. Now let's do the panther, which we have 2 to the third power, which means 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and then bring down the times 5, then we can go either way, um, 6 times 5 is 30, and then 30 times 4 is 120. Okay, so the panther is 120, so we use this table right over here. Now let's go on to these next problems. All right, so we want to evaluate these expressions if x equals 2 and y equals 10. So what we do is we're going to substitute 2 everywhere we see an x and 10 everywhere we see a y. Okay? All right, so now we get 2 squared plus 10 to the fourth. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4 plus and 10 to the fourth power is equal to 10,000 because it's just a one followed by four zeros. You will learn that. Now we get to add that together. So 10,000 plus four is equal to 10,004. Number nine. Okay, so we substituted the two for the X and the 10 for the Y and now we're going to go ahead and evaluate this, work it out. We do what's in the parentheses first. Inside this parentheses, we have addition and exponent. So we're going to do the exponent first. So we go 4 plus 10 inside the parentheses. And then now we go ahead and add that. 4 plus 10 is 14. And now let's evaluate 14 to the third power, which means 14 times 14 times 14. So 14 times 14 is 196. And then we go ahead and multiply 196 times the third 14, which comes out to be 2,744. Okay, now our last one. So we want to build an essential question or building an, an, an essential question. It says, how can I write repeated multiplication, multiplication using powers? Okay, well, I'm going to put it in my words. And you can put it in your own words. This is what I got. All right, so I wrote the number being multiplied is the base and the number of times the base is multiplied is the exponent that's how I can write repeated multiplication using powers